Good morning. Good morning. Good morning it is today. Today we celebrate 100 days of the Biden-Harris administration. In that time, working together, Democrats have made historic progress to defeat the pandemic and to address the economic crisis, administering over 200 million doses Imagine the president had 100 million as his goal, and we exceeded 200 million shots, uh, delivering over 160 million checks and putting $1 trillion into workers' pockets. And we've made historic uh, progress to build back better, cutting child poverty in half. Imagine in the rescue package, initiative to cut child poverty in half, delivering health care to an additional 800,000 Americans through the ACA because of the provisions in the rescue package uh, that enabled more people to ha have access uh, to the subsidies. This is so exciting. I feel very proprietary about the Affordable Care Act. And creating 1.3 million jobs, more jobs in the first 100 days than any president ever. All of this puts our economy back on track to grow 6% this year. That's not my figure. Uh, that's according to the International Monetary Fund. The IMF has said, and this is the fastest pace in over 40 years, in nearly 40 years. As the president said last night, America is moving. Last night was historic. It was the first time two women the Vice President of the United States and the Speaker of the House sat behind the President as he delivered his address to the nation. It sent the message to girls and women that beyond the sky is the limit. We would say the sky is the limit years ago, but now with the technology that we see, it's, it's, uh, there is no limit. Uh, the President's speech reflected that message. It's one thing to have two women there. That's it's remarkable, actually, I say immodestly. But what's really important about the night was what the president said in his speech. It was a triumph for women, women at home, women in the workplace. Equal pay for equal work, paid family and medical leave, affordable child care, universal pre-K. I love that because it's children learning, parents earning men and women, but largely women as caregivers. The Violence Against Women Act that he urged the passage of in the Senate, and many other initiatives for women, the list goes on. Now, this address was a recognition that we can only build back better if with the fuller participation of women in our economy. So I indeed thought it was a triumph for women. Uh, this is an ambitious, transformative vision for seizing a once-in-a-century opportunity to build back better. 